Nice to have a good start on the roads. Well, school is back and that means your kids may be coming into contact with more and more people. It's true. Researchers at South Florida University, they are using memory jogging to do contact tracing. Uh, they say it's more important than ever, especially with the Delta variant. And WPTV News Channel 5's Tori Dunnan has more on how the technology has progressed in just the last year. As a mother scientist, I know this can be a really stressful time for people. And so we wanted to make sure it got out into the community. Dr. Deborah Goldfarb knows how difficult the pandemic has been with children and is taking action to find a finish line as a scientist. She spent the past year testing an app aimed at helping you contact trace through the science of memory. We've been testing it recently from nine year olds to 90 year olds across the age range. The app is called Cog Tracer. Thanks for using Cog Tracer. I myself study memory interviewing with kids. And so one of the questions we had are the techniques that we use normally to think help improve memory. Could we use them in the contact tracing efforts to help stem um, the flow of, and spread of COVID-19? The team at FIU says there are different cues for different ages. When it comes to children, repeated recall attempts, recalling things in reverse order, or a change of venue. The app has different cues to help you remember more contacts. It also encourages you to get your phone and other devices to dig deeper. It'll have take you through the past you know, six days and ask you questions about who you may have had contacts with. It'll give you some sort of what we call category type questions, thinking about, you know, for people that come into your home potentially, um, what is who do you see at your workplace? Who may you see at school? By applying the science of memory, what should be happening is we're having the people who are COVID positive, they shouldn't be forgetting as many of their contacts. Someone isn't going to remember everyone the first time they try. And so by applying techniques to maximize recall, we should have fewer forgotten contacts. Dr. Jacqueline Evans. It's becoming even more likely that somebody who gets sick is able to transmit it to somebody else. Who is part of the team says with the Delta variant, the need to contact trace is even greater. The more contagious um, the, the variant is, the more important that becomes because you've got a lot of transmission going on. That becomes a more onerous task, <laughs> the more contacts people have, and it becomes more important not to miss people. A problem of the pandemic exists in this app as well, group participation. How do you get people to want to contact trace? Yeah, I think that's a really good question. I think that more and more people are realizing how important they individually are to the fight against COVID-19. I think the message is, is that knowledge is always power, right? And so giving people the knowledge of, you know, that they have a risk and they've been exposed gives people a chance to make a decision. Tori Dunnan, WPTV News Channel 5.